What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. We are on that quest to finish our master set. Uh, in the previous video, you know, we opened a good amount of tins, and we got very good pulls, very good hit ratios, but just nothing that we needed to finish that master set. So today we're going to open a bunch of them. We opened six tins this time, so that is a lot of cracks at finding some of those cards that we have remaining. 24 to be exact, three Gyarados. Three Raichu promos. Here is some code. Oh, wait. Let me just move these guys over. Some code cards. And uh, yeah, at some point we will wave the white flag and just pick up the singles that we are. That we still need since we were fortunate enough to draw not one but two Charizards. We, that's definitely viable. And we also drew the. Uh, we cracked open the Cynthia, so that is the most expensive card. So finishing a master set just via TCG player is very much an option. Uh, but if we're gonna go down that way, we're gonna go down swinging. We have 24 packs to open. Let's begin with a Charizard pack art. We're not looking for you, but uh, definitely you will always be a welcome sight in any opening in any of our videos. So yeah, let's do that instead. Actually, I would be. Totally fine with that. And uh, alright, let's begin. As always, hope everyone's having a good day. And for our first pack, we have Chansey, Koga, Giovanni, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke. A Clefable is our first rare. And then a reverse Clefairy. These packs are actually in the way. I'm gonna move these over here on this side. And we will keep going. Fix my piles. All right. Pack number two. I feel like the pack arts are a little faded on this tin. So yeah, these are more Black Friday tins, of course. And so far we've been, yeah, not we're not getting the right pulls, but we're getting a good amount and high rarity pulls. Just dupes. Last time, last time we got a gold card. And there are so many gold cards that we, I think there were probably, uh, no, actually that's not true, but I'm still missing maybe up to half of the gold cards. Then the one we pulled was a dupe, and, ooh, wait a minute, Frog oh no, we do have this one already, Frogadier. Nope, this is, this is another dupe, but hey, we got our first shiny, as always, let's see, and is this the, where's some light to, oh, there it is, ah, yes, the super glossy one. I think my favorite is like the one with extra texture um, and once again these things are very off-center you know as far as oh but look at this the back actually looks pretty good front not so much so yeah the Charizard print quality seems to be really high with all the tens that they are grading and these other cards or maybe this last recent printing a little bit less so the case all right, so our first shiny in the bag with Frogadier. That is not one of the ones we're looking for, so yet another dupe. Let's keep going. Farfetch'd, Brock, Misty's Gym, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Weezing is our rare. And then, oh man, that's the second time we pull a rare uh, evolution card, and then it's the base form in its reverse, reverse slot. Not sure how many times we can pull it in this for this set, but actually no, I, I don't want to find that out. Uh, no, actually no, unless it's are there any? So from the rare slide, I don't think there's any like evolutions that you can pick up with a shiny, shiny base form. I guess Charizard GX, the non-shiny with a Charmeleon or Charmander, counts. Uh, that's the only one I can think of. Oh, here we go. All right, this is the shiny Char Charmander or Charmander. That would be amazing. Here we go, let's see it. Ah, oh, just a nurse joy. But uh, as far as the regular non-shiny GXs, this is the best one to pull. So we will take that. And that should have been it for our first 10. So we did get two hits, kept that 50% hit ratio, but not the highest quality of hits. But we'll keep going. Plenty of room to improve. I feel like recently in openings we start off really hot and then cool off which 
doesn't feel that great when you get further into the opening, but I will say now that it's a better way to start than the reverse where you're not starting off too, like nothing too terrific, and then you start getting nervous. All right, we need to, things need to heat up fast. Good luck on snagging some of these code cards. Hope you guys pull something good. I feel like twice people that uh, kind of like got some packs from us in giveaways, they pulled the shiny Charizard and then it's like a really mixed bag of emotions. Almost more, not regret, but like, oh, more disappointment than anything else because like, oh, I wish this was an IRL. Ooh, look at this pack. Shiny Shuppet in Wigglytuff. Shuppet is one that we rarely pull. So happy about that. And yeah, once again, super glossy. Look how much shine that is on that card. So two hits, one pack. That's technically meets the uh, quota for the whole tin. Uh, once again, not the highest quality of pulls. But yeah, pulling a digital shiny Charizard. What an interesting situation. Although I think you could sell those on eBay. I'm not sure what they go for. It's probably not much, but uh, it's kind of funny. I think people ask me, then they're like, oh, do you want to trade for this? And the unfortunate answer is like, I actually have no use for that on the PTCGO game. Ooh, this is a very rocket-centric pack. We got Arbuck and then Jesse and James. Speaking of giveaways, uh, if you do play PTCGO, be sure to tune into some of our streams. Uh, with a couple exceptions during the holidays, we typically stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings, 7 p.m. EST. And whenever we do stream, we do giveaways throughout the stream. Just follow us at twitch.com slash I want a turtle. Twitch.tv slash I want a turtle. Electrode and Psyduck. Ooh, it's a good thing we got that double whammy pack because yeah, snow shiny GXs. A couple shinies though. Alright. Let's start hitting some big hits and. Hopefully some new ones that we still need. Charmeleon. I do like this Charmeleon. Jinx, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Full Art Birds. Nice. Always a fan of this artwork. And then Reverse Jolteon. As always guys, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. And uh, make sure you are subbed if you're not already. If you happen to just come across this channel, welcome. We do videos basically every single day, usually around Pokemon. We do a lot of openings and stuff like that. Sometimes we do market videos. Reverse energy, our first reverse energy for the video. It's the fairy kind. Probably getting towards that halfway mark and uh, nothing too great so far. Alright, let's see. Nurse Joy. Sabrina suggestion Scyther, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Eevee, a Caterpie, Arbuck, and then Barox Gym. Hmm, these handful of tins were not as loaded as the ones we've opened previously. I need to step it up real soon. Not gonna lie, I'm sweating a little bit, although I think it's just because of this super intense light. <laughs> I feel like it helps for the the phone view, but uh, yeah, really, you can really feel it. Alright, let's see, Caterpie, Eevee, Zapdos. Ooh, shiny Ralts, nice. Caught a handful of these on the second half of the December Community Day. Uh, I feel I think Ralts is the one I saw the most of as far as shinies. Man, I find that fascinating that the front is off center, but the back actually looks pretty good, and that's actually kind of annoying. I wonder if that means it makes it even more difficult than it should be to get like a very perfectly centered card when the front and back aren't even aligned correctly. 
Well, next time we pull a shiny GX, we'll see if that's limited to the non-GX shinies. Although in order to confirm that, we actually need to pull one. So hopefully it's right here. But yeah, during community day, which was a lot of fun. Actually, the first day was nice and warm where I'm at. However, the second day was pretty cold. But uh, probably the shiny that I need the least of was Ralts because I did participate during that the original community day. But unfortunately, we kind of found that one the most. I think it's just because it was windy. So, wait, is it psychic or fairy? Actually, I'm not sure if that's why. But I, I'm pretty sure it was weather boosted. So, all right, let's see. Nurse Joy, Geodude. Clef Fairy, Jiggly or Pikachu, Cubone, there's Jigglypuff, Golem is our rare. Blaine's last stand. I guess it's a reverse rare. Oh boy, this is a rough opening. It's it's a good thing we have a lot of packs to open, because like let's just say we didn't open as many and it just ended like on that pack. That would have been a very bad opening. As long as things improve, it will be okay. But things definitely need to improve. Jinx, Magmar, Eevee, Gins, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Jesse, and James. Ooh, shiny. Oh man, we're gonna pull the full evolutionary line. Rolls, Curlia, you know what's coming next. And this one's still off center, but maybe not as much. All right, here comes the Gardevoir. Definitely a welcome shiny GX, even if it's a dupe. Gardevoir is one of the... Man, a lot of people ask me, what is your favorite Pokemon? It's like, such a difficult question to ask. So many at the top of the list, Gardevoir would be one. Chansey, Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, another Arbuck. This must be like our third or fourth Arbuck. Reverse Jigglypuff to wrap that one up. All right, so it looks like we're basically down to two tins worth. And our first two tins were okay, but then since then, it's been pretty rough. Grass Energy, Nurse Joy, Sabrina, Misty. All the female gym leaders. Whoa, Mr. Mime is our reverse. I think I saw something in there. Is that a Wigglytuff? Ooh, it was a Charizard. Pretty sure it was a GX, but uh, yes, once again, that's the one to pull. But all right, let's get some textured cards. Textured cards in the reverse slot. Some shiny vault goodness. That is obviously what this opening these packs is all about so here we go Chansey, Giovanni, Brock's Gym, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Ah, Cleave Fable okay all right reverse metal energy not the best, best reverse energies I think um Fortunately, it's not tournament legal, but if you could use like any kind of energies. If you've never seen the seen a opening of the Korean Ultra Shiny sets, we've actually done a lot of them in the past, and they're they were very affordable. But they revert their all their energies were really nice. Although the curling is quite a crazy amount of curling because all the cards are like reverse foils, so they all curl. All right, wheezing. A shiny Rowlet. Oh man, we pull so many of these Rowlets. So Rowlets, Magnemites, Beldums, man, the dupes. I, our, our experience has not been an even distribution across the shinies. Not even close. Okay, this is super rough. Down to five packs. This is the last one from the second to last ten. You know what? Note to self, this is what happens when you ignore Charizard. I guess we did pull two Charizards, so it's not exactly accurate, but as far as the tins go, when you just go all Gyarados Raichu, maybe that's just not a good fortune 
If for anyone that's superstitious, make sure you open the Charizard tin as well. There is our rare. It is just a Eevee Hollow. But then, ooh, finally, we got our first shiny GX, and it is Darkrai. Looks like the front is not very off-centered. You can barely see this border, and this one you can distinctly see. Let's take a look at the back. But yeah, the back doesn't look bad as far as the centering goes. So, you know, we've been saying that Charizard is super easy to grade, but maybe the newer ones less so the case. I'm actually really happy with this pull. Darkrai is a pretty good card. And um, actually, I've seen this used in some expanded decks too. Not that I play expanded, but maybe one day we will get into it. And one of the better shinies, I do like that purple shade that they use for Darkrai. So another dupe, but a pretty cool card. All right, on to our last tin worth of packs. Definitely one of our weaker openings, despite being <laughs> opening so many packs. So we'll need some big hits, some runner runners to, to catch us up to where we need to be. No idea how many hits we had total, but a uh, good part of that hit stack is reverse energy. So we'll be tough, we'll be tough. We'll have to really clutch up to salvage this opening. All right, metal or no, electric energy, Scyther, Jinx, Magmar, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, and just the Butterfree. Man, this is, this, but I'm not sure if there's ever a really strong Butterfree, but man, this is a super vanilla card. Oh, nice, a gold card. <laughs> Another dupe. Oh, man, I feel like. When it comes to getting the right rarities, we do pretty good. Eh, not this opening, but hey, we got a gold card. Uh, rumor has it these are kind of like one in a hundred. But when we keep pulling the same one, this is our third Bulu. But once again, this is pretty off center. Again, like you can barely make out the the, the edge, the this line here, and then the space beyond it. But on this side, super defined. This one is off center in in the same fashion. So this one is off center both front and back which it's weird that i like, kind of see that as a positive but we got a gold card guys we will take it um that's a good way to kind of salvage an opening but man we saw a good enough we only have one of the guardians and as the one we only is the only one we can pull so yes excellent pulls we're salvaging this opening but man Finishing a master set is so difficult. It's good, bad luck. I don't think the phrase task failed successfully is accurate. It's more like very good fortune, just kind of in the wrong place. I'm not sure how to describe it. Right you, oh my gosh, a full art support. Wow, this last hint is super loaded. We got a gold card and a full art supporter. Once again, another dupe. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that hiker. I don't even know what you do. Look at the top five cards of either players that can choose one of them. Player shuffles the card back into their deck. Top card, put one card on top. Wow. Task failed successfully. Does that apply here? I feel like it doesn't exactly apply, but that's what we're gonna. That's how we're going to. That is how we're going to leave this opening. Task failed successfully. <laughs> yeah, full art supporter, gold card. Nothing new to add to the master set binder. That is rough. All right, Lapras, or this is kind of like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling right now. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, how would you rate this opening? Good hits. If we were like starting from scratch, this was like a great opening. Uh, actually, not a great opening, but you know, we got a little bit of everything: gold card, full art supporter shiny or shiny gx just nothing not the ones that we're looking for and but uh anyways guys thanks for watching i'm wanna turtle and we'll catch you guys next time